Hey everyone, James Holst here, Connor Kleist, KK. Uh, we're out here in North Dakota, just got off the ice. First ice trip of the year. Nobody got hurt, nobody cried. Yeah, we That's made a it successful off. first day on the ice as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Uh, we didn't forget anything at home that we couldn't fish around. So mm -hmm. uh, we were out here primarily chasing perch. Uh, There's mm -hmm. a little bit of a walleye bite going on here. Uh, but before we talk about that, you know, our original plan was to get together closer to home back in Pelican Rapids but the ice didn't cooperate. No. Tell us about it. No, uh, our ice conditions right now, you know, our smaller lakes, three, four inches, you know, extreme caution getting out. Um, but for the most part, our big lakes are still white caps, you know, and the extended forecast really doesn't look great for our big lakes. But right now our small lakes, they're st starting to get fishable. Uh, and yeah, it should be interesting, you know, going into December, see where we end up. But for right now, extreme caution. And I think we got a little ways to go. Even on this slew here, uh, good consistent four to five inches of ice most places with a random it don't make any sense at all kind of oh there's open water there yeah. let's walk around that yeah uh, it's one of those classic man eaters where if you're not living with the spud bar this time of year you're mm -hmm. gonna get yourself in trouble mm -hmm. uh, if there was that much snow fresh mm -hmm. snow on the lake you'd never see it you'd walk yeah. right into it and you'd probably go up to your neck and mm -hmm. struggle to get yourself out so if there's anything you take away from uh, this quick little video there's some ice Typically, you're going to find that on the smallest of lakes. I mean, when you're talking back home in Pelican Rapids area, you're talking a couple hundred acres at the most. A couple hundred acres, yep. And yeah. they're, they're down in valleys, you know, protected by trees, don't get a lot of winds. So they've been building ice now, you know, with these cold nights. But still, uh, we're just not seeing the good ice-making con conditions yet. Sure. So. so we're out here in North Dakota, uh, west of Valley City. You run down 94, and basically what you see out both sides of the truck, sloughs. Mm -hmm. Sloughs. Great-looking sloughs, of mm -hmm. which... It looked like a lot of them on the south side, which were, you know, you're getting that southern exposure along mm -hmm. the highway, lots of open water. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely be careful there. Uh, we ended up far enough uh, north where we got to a slough here that's got good access, uh, good solid around the shorelines. I wouldn't be walking through any cattails right no. now. Uh, weather forecast here for this area, I think it's seven of the next 10 days are going to be in the mid to upper 40s. Yeah, It's going to get a little soft out here. Yeah. Let's talk about the fishing. So this lake, the slough that we we're fishing here today, uh, kind of known, I would say, for more of the walleye bite, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Eater yeah. walleyes. Yeah, eater walleyes and good numbers. Aggressive <laughs> bite early and late in the day. Uh, and a fishable population of potentially giant perch. Mm -hmm. This is not the lake you're gonna come and jerk 200 perch, oh. sort through and get you know some mm -hmm. 10 to 12s. Mm -hmm. Most of them are solid, you know, nine, 10 plus, with a chance at some giants. That's what we came here for. Didn't we're not gonna, you know, bat an eye at the nice walleyes you catch mm -hmm. as well, but uh, primarily it was looking for those perch. Uh, and one of the things that we had to deal with, I think that played a huge role in this was the full moon. Absolutely. I mean, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, with the full moon and we had high pressure majority of the time. So that feeding windows are gonna be at night and kind of those last hour of light into the morning kind of a thing. But as the day goes, your bite's gonna taper. Yeah. And that's exactly what we saw. First thing this morning, uh, we got our nicer walleyes, got them on mm -hmm. iFish Pros, a few uh, decent fish, uh, jig and spoons. And then as the day progressed to midday, mm -hmm. door shut. It was awful. Exactly what you'd expect under those, uh, those scenario, or that scenario, a high pressure, full moon at night, the midday bite was just horrible. And we marked fish. Yep. You know, we saw fish, we were able to kind of follow them, and we were able to catch some very nice fish, but we had to work for them. I had to put a lot of work in, and that's fishing, you yep. know. As we got further away from that midday period, though, we got into like the early afternoon uh, towards about four o'clock. That's when the perch started to roll. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was not gangbusters. I think my biggest perch is probably 13 inches today. You walk away with the big perch award. I think yeah. I, you're pretty close to a 14 incher there. Yep. It was nice, it was, nice fish. Yep. Big, fat, healthy. Uh, a couple things we noticed were uh, there were two spoon colors that just dominated everything. I, I rolled through baits. I tried all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's that white glow. It kind of looks like a, uh, a zebra. Yep. White primary color glow with some black lines on it. You had that thing rocking. Yep, eighth ounce, uh, and honestly, just keeping it real tight to the mud. You know, picking it up, bouncing the mud here and there, and you would see, you know, your bottom quiver. You knew that you had fish there, but it was really just a patience thing. You know, trying to make that fish eat that bait when they really didn't want to. The other, the other color was the uh, uh, the orange UV. Uh, that one was one that I probably caught most of my fish on. Um, a great average size perch out here. Uh, gonna go home with 
a nice batch. Yes. Uh, people at home are going to be very happy with mm -hmm. us. Uh, so if you're looking to come out, get in on uh, what looks right now. Can't guarantee anything down the road, right? We've got some warm weather coming, but right now the ice in this area is solid. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to send you to any of the bigger lakes. You're going to be looking at sloughs, smaller bodies of water, a couple hundred acres or less. They should probably hold on, right? Yep. Yep, I, absolutely. I think, and we we've had warmer temps, uh, and still at night we're firming back up. We're still making a little bit of ice, and once that lake gets capped, you know the progress kind of picks up, and I think that uh, we're going to have a fun early ice here, looking into the next few weeks. Nobody likes this slow, you know, uh, uncertain progression going into ice. But what's nice about it is once you do get a stable base, the fishing, the quality of the fishing mm -hmm. typically stays really good. Yep. You get this full moon behind us by a week, uh, you're going to have some really Absolutely. good bite windows throughout the day. So uh, a great area to put on your bucket list, areas to check out. And of course, once this guy gets a little bit more ice, you're mm -hmm. going to be out there in that Pelican Rapids area ripping it Come up. on over and uh, come say hi. Come see so, KK. Absolutely. All right, before we go, uh, reedsvipdeals.com. Everybody knows we're working with reeds this year. No ice shows. Well, this coming week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday would have been the ice show in St. Paul that got canceled. Everybody knows. Reeds is really looking for ways to uh, offer uh, sports show pricing on all the stuff we need out here on the ice uh, and do it in a way where you're going to have to do it online, right? There's no shows. So uh, go to reedsvipdeals.com between uh, this airing, which should air on Wednesday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and next Monday. That's kind of that uh, block of time right over when the St. Paul Ice Show typically happens. Uh, they're going to release some huge sports show deals around uh, Eskimo flip-over shacks, uh, hub houses, Strike Master augers, tuned-up custom rods. You don't see those discounted very often. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talked to the Arnold family uh, directly, and here's what they wanted me to tell everybody watching this. If you're not seeing the deal that you expect on the products that are listed on reedsvipdeals.com. They're going to put up a phone number. They want you to call. It's going to be a true sports show experience. Give them a call. Tell them what you want to pay. They want the chance to match or beat any price that you've seen on all that stuff out there, the houses, the augers, the electronics. Uh, they want your business. So give them a chance. If you're not seeing it on Reed's VIP deals with all the coupon codes, give them a call. Negotiate, just like you would at a sports show. <laughs> We're out of here. Deal. Thanks for fishing with me today. It was a ton of fun. Always a blast. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you this time next week.